Okay, this first picture over here illustrates the region that's outside r equals one plus the sine of theta. The second graph includes the region inside the first curve, which is r equals three sine theta. And so where they overlap is this region right here. That's the region we want to find the area for. And before you can do that, you need to know these points of intersection. So theta is going to rotate from zero up to here. And that'll be alpha maybe. And then we're going to keep rotating until we get to this point of intersection. And I'll call this theta one and this will be, whoop, this will be theta two. Now, how do you find those points of intersection? Well, you set the uh, R values equal to each other. So three sine of theta equals one plus the sine of theta. I won't go through all this, but you can find these points of intersection right here. Pi over six is this angle and five pi over six takes us over to here. So those are the points of intersection. And to use this formula, A equals one half, the definite integral from alpha to beta of R squared D theta, beta has to be greater than alpha. If you have two curves, like if we're got a curve here and a curve here, and we rotated from alpha to beta, if you want to find this region right here, we call this radius the outside radius. So that's r sub zero squared minus the inside radius, r sub one, i, the quantity squared. So there's what it looks like, the setup. One half alpha to beta, pi over six to five pi over six of the outer radius squared, three sine theta squared is nine so sine squared theta minus the inner radius squared. It looks suspiciously like the answer might have an exact value of pi. And I'm not gonna go through all of this, but you can pause the video and take some notes, see how we got to the final answer of pi down here. Uh, the key thing that you need to know is how to find the antiderivative for sine squared. And to do that, you replace sine squared theta with one minus cosine of two theta all over two. If you multiply eight times that, two goes into eight four times and then distribute to four. That's where this is right here. Uh, and then you can break it apart use u substitution maybe for this guy. And in the end, you do get an answer of pi. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.